Hi, welcome to Automotive Appreciation Part 7. This lesson includes the differential, open and locked differential, limited slip diff, viscous LSD, clutch type LSD and torsion limited slip diff. From the steering animation we noted that the wheels travel at different speeds when cornering. The outside wheel rotates faster than the inside wheel. To allow for the speed difference, a differential is used. The differential transmits power to the wheels, provides speed reduction and splits the torque between the wheels allowing them to rotate at different speeds. Some early cars had only one driven wheel, however the system was not balanced and the driving wheel would spin easily. With an open differential the half shaft has the wheel attached at one end and the sun gear at the other. The sun gears are meshed with a planet gear which can rotate around the sun gear. Normally there are two planet gears but we only show one for clarity. Also we show the gears as plain wheels in this animation. The planet gear is attached to and rotates with the crown gear. The crown gear is meshed with the input pinion from the engine driven propeller shaft. The differential cage is attached to the crown wheel. When the car drives in a straight line the input pinion rotates the crown wheel. The planet gear revolves with the cage but does not spin. The planet wheel in turn rotates both sun wheels at the same speed transmitting power to the road wheels. When cornering there is a difference in speed between the sun gears. The planet gear will spin on its own axis as well as revolving. One sun gear will slow down while the other speeds up. If we turn the other direction the planet wheel will rotate in the opposite direction and again allow for a difference in speed. Obviously all those gears will be lubricated by oil to reduce friction. If one wheel has poor traction, for example because of ice, all the torque would be transmitted to that wheel. It will spin and the car will not move. This is a disadvantage of the open differential. One solution is a differential lock. We have a spline on the half shaft and a spline attached to the cage. When a collar is fitted over them they are joined together and the half shaft rotates with the cage. It is only necessary to lock one half shaft as this prevents the differential action. A locked diff will allow no difference in speed between both wheels and is normally only used on off-road vehicles. Some modern vehicles have traction control which mitigates the problems of an open differential by using an anti-lock braking system to limit the slippage of the low traction wheel. The ABS road speed sensors detect the wheel with low traction and apply the brake to that wheel transmitting more torque to the other wheel. This is called EDL, Electronic Differential Lock. The brake is applied and released in an effort to transmit torque to the wheel with good traction. Another option is the limited slip differential LSD. They allow for a difference in speed when cornering but limit slip during low traction conditions. With a viscous type LSD the input pinion drives the crown gear and cage. The cage rotates and drives the sun gears with the planet gears. The cage has a set of plates fixed to it and the half shaft has another set of plates. The sealed chamber around the plates is filled with a thick viscous liquid. When the car travels in a straight line both sets of plates rotate together. If one wheel slips the plates will rotate at different speeds. The viscous fluid will allow slow relative movements of the shafts during cornering but will oppose a high speed difference with a slipping wheel. This type of LSD is activated by a difference in speed between the plates. Another option is the clutch type limited slip differential LSD. The cage has clutch plates attached to it while the half shaft has a separate set of clutch plates. There is a pressure ring which surrounds the pin of the planet gear. Looking from the top we see that the cage exerts a force on the pin which supports the sun gear. This force moves the pressure plates apart. The clutch plates make contact and limit the slip allowing more torque to be transferred. The clutch type LSD is activated by torque from the engine. The word torsion is derived from torque sensing. 
The principle is based on a worm and worm gear. When the worm is rotated, it drives the worm gear but the gear cannot drive the worm. The torsion consists of a worm gear attached to the half shaft. This gear is meshed with a worm wheel that has spur gears at the ends. Here we show one set of worm wheels, but in practice there are a total of three. When travelling in a straight line, the crown gear rotates and drives both half shafts at the same speed via the worms. To demonstrate the operation of the torsion diff, we'll keep the cage stationary and rotate one of the wheels, effectively jacking up the car and rotating one wheel forward and the other wheel backwards. If the left wheel is rotated in this direction, it will drive the worm, which in turn will drive the other wheel via the spur gears. We'll have a similar effect if we rotate in the opposite direction. During normal operation, the input drive pinion drives the crown wheel and cage. The torsion will allow for speed difference when cornering. However, if one wheel loses traction, the difference in torque causes the differential to bind together and limit the slip. Most road cars will have an open differential, while rally cars will have an LSD to limit wheel slip during rapid acceleration and off-road vehicles will have the option of a locked differential. In a rear-wheel drive car, we have the engine, clutch, transmission and the differential located in the back axle. In a front-wheel drive car, we have the engine, transmission and a differential. With an all-wheel drive car, we normally have three differentials. One in the middle to apportion torque between front and rear, one in the back axle and one in the front axle. Normally, the centre diff is a viscous coupling. We hope you've learned from automotive appreciation.